Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's go over this EVGA new gaming rig. It's a carbon fiber frame and it's suspended. Uh, it's almost like a like a fancy road bike in a way. So they're, they're kind of up in their game here. They're kind of building a fancy rig. Uh, again, I kind of attribute it to like what miners are doing with just building their own rigs and have the motherboard, everything exposed. Uh, and that's kind of the same approach here, but I'm sure this is going to be pricey, even though they have not indicated as to what the price of this is going to be. So this is called the EVGA1, EVGA E1. Uh, they're classifying it as a gaming rig within a carbon fiber frame, as you can see here. You've got your graphics card, you've got your motherboard. You've got your cooling, and then you've got your gauges. So it's kind of fancy schmancy. It's pretty interesting. So let's go down here. Uh, this article is from PC Peer, and I'll go through the EVGA site as well. So EVGA announced something pretty wild. This was announcement was on the 27th. I did a short video about it because I thought it was interesting, but I'm always concerned about the price of new stuff like this. And it's cool. I get it. Uh, and they even said here, the computer that seems to have more in common with a high-end road bike than any previously built, pre-built PC because of the carbon fiber and frame. So it's going to be light and strong. I guess you're going to haul this thing around if you want to, right? If they would make them stackable, they could really address the uh, crypto miner market. That's my, that's my first thought. Uh, let's see. So... This is what I got from their website as well, EVGA's website. It will be exclusive. Got it. You have to sign up on the EVGA list to get this. You are not just going to be able to go to the store and buy this. So just be, be aware of that. And we'll jump to that site in a second. Uh, let's see. There it is right there. It's just the frame. There's the suspension units right there, uh, the pins. And uh, let's see. There's a patent pending independent suspension system comprised of steel cables. It's, uh, let's say, constructed with 100% 3K plain weave, carbon fiber, blah, blah, blah. It's 276 pounds. Uh, it's the lightest frame design compared to other chassis of the same volume. Let's see, the specs are staggering. Uh, they, oh, they have an unspecified GPU. I thought they were gonna put in the 3090. All right, they, yeah, Kingpin graphics card, and they're expecting the 3090 Ti but nobody knows. I'm sure they'll put the 3090 Ti in it, just again for advertising and to help, you know, if they're partnering with NVIDIA, who knows. A massive 1600 watt titanium baby, not just gold or bronze, we're going titanium power supply. Titanium power, limited 3K carbon fiber finish, 3090 Ti baby. All right, a sharp looking cooler listed. It's a seven gen closed loop cooler. I never had one of these coolers, so. I'm, I'm interested to see if you have one. What do you think of it? Does it actually work? I have no idea. I'm pretty ignorant on that subject. Uh, let's see. Uh, la, 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 keychain. Oh, they give you a keychain as well, like a key fob, so you can start it up, right? All right. There's no information provided as to price, and the launch date is also a mystery. There is a link to sign up for notification of further information on the E1 product page, and they also have a video you can go watch too. It's all fancy stuff high production value for marketing. Not too bad. So let's go to the EVGA site. Blammo. So if you go to EVGA.com, you will see the E1. There it is, fully loaded. You got the Kingpin mother card. You got the cooling. You've got the motherboard and you got the suspension cables right there. One, two, three, four on the top, four on the bottom. And then you got the cool little gauges. Again, I think this is a great mining rig. Um, it's almost like, hmm, they could just maybe do something else. You could put multiple GPUs in here somehow, redesign it a little bit, or make it stackable. That would be really cool. But again, price, price, price. With crypto mining, yeah, you don't want to spend money on the stuff that's not going to make you money. So it's cool to have fancy stuff, fancy rigs. But are you ever going to get your ROI, your ROI back on those items you are buying? That's a good question. Always a concern when you are in the mining uh, especially with uh, mining profits down to 0.04 cents per mega hash on Ethereum. Yeah. Yeah. 
All right, with the launch of the EVJ E1, EVJ is once again taking extreme gaming to the next level. That was the same stuff, same content on the actual news site, magazine site. Let's see, 100% 3K carbon fiber frame. All right, there it is close up. You can see the connecting points with the, with the uh, cables. Yeah, it looks like a bicycle. All right, there's your Kingpin card. Uh, Z690 dark pin motherboard. There you go. And then there's your 1600 watt titanium power supply. It looks modular on the back. I'm just kind of from the shadows here with limited 3K carbon finish. Oh my God, they put a carbon finish on the power supply. They're going, they're going full fluff too. In addition to stuff, maybe. 7th gen closed loop cooler. Look at that. CPU, coolant, pump, fan. Pretty neat. Fancy stuff. Analog gauges. I do like this. CPU temperature, GPU temperature, and then overall temperature. There's no label other than Celsius. A couple USB slots, a type C on off. Is that headphones right there? Headphone slot, microphone, microphones right here. Headphones. I'm not sure what that one is. Auxiliary. I don't know. Limited edition key chain included. There's the fob. So it's like a Tesla. You got your old key fob. You can start it up. Look at that. You got the keyboard. You got the mouse. Looks like a little handheld phaser. I don't know what that is. All right. And again, they got the video. If you want to go to EVGA's site, you can check out the full production video. And then you can sign up here, notify me for details. So it's looking pretty cool. But again, you know, it's how much do you want to spend? If you're in a gaming or just a PC in general, I like the idea. But having said that, I'm actually going out today to build another wood frame and the wood prices have gone down and I was able to get the timber, the, you know, for the, for the um, pieces of wood I need to build the frame for about eh, two bucks a board. So six bucks, let's say seven bucks. And I'm going to slap it together because I have a bunch of GPUs dedicated per motherboard on my CPU mining rigs and I want to get those off put them on one rig all together and get that rig inside the grow tent so I can minimize the heat in the server room here. So that's my plan. All right, guys, that's all I have. Let me know what you think about this EVJ E1. Is it, it's cool. I, I admit it. What do you think the price is going to be? When is it going to come out? And have you gone to the site and signed up? I have. I'm not going to buy it, but uh, I'm just interested to get more information on it and go from there. All right, guys. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Go out and do great things. I will talk to you later. I'm out. And the dog barked. Bark, Rocco, bark. All right. Bye. <laughs>